Happy New Year, and welcome to the first Pomona Promise Network podcast. I'm your host, Andrew Quinones, and today in studio, we have special guest Renee Barbie of La Nueva Voz. Hi, Renee. Hi, Andy. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm glad that you're here for our first podcast here in, awesome. the, in the Positive Pomona Production Studio. Welcome. Thank you very much. All right. So, so tell us, you know, uh, La Nueva Voz, uh, Pomona's only community newspaper. That's true. Uh, give us a little history and, and how you came across uh, this newspaper and, and how you and Jeff uh, end up taking over. Well, back in 2008, Jeff found out about the old La Voz, which ran successfully for 28 years. And a friend of his contacted him and said, hey, go out and pick up a copy of La Voz. He said, I've never heard of La Voz. So Jeff went out in this hot summer heat, like 110 degrees, went to Pomona to find a copy, and he brought it back, and he set up a meeting with a friend of his who now lives in Apple Valley, and the former graphic designer of the old Laveaux, who is also now working for us. Oh, Her wow. name is Dora Cruz, and she is our graphic designer. She creates the ads and uh, when nobody has the capability to do so. And once we got to, he uh, had the meeting, he was, dry, I was working at the time somewhere else. And when the market crashed in 2008, I got laid off. And when he drove home, he said, I, I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know how the advertising is going to work. That's the only way the papers be able to be supported. I said, I can help you with that. My marketing background is in marketing and op communications for anything. And I, I've been doing that for a very, very long time. I mean, uh, when he when he found out about it, the market had crashed. And w when we decided to take over the paper, it took two years for us to get established wow. because nobody knew who we were. We had to go to all the networking events in Pomona and we joined the chamber and we became chamber members in 2009. And we have never missed a networking luncheon. And we're proud of that fact because it helped boost our advertising sales back then. Yes. And advertising is a key to our success in the paper. Right. And you also play another role within the Pomona Chamber of Commerce as well. Yes. I'm on the executive board. I'm on the regular board. I'm on, um, you know, I, I attend committee meetings. I've never missed any meeting, uh, you know, board meetings. And I, I attend all the events that the chamber has to, you know, to network with other uh, business owners. Great. And try to tell them what we do for the community. Yes. Now, La Nueva Voz is, is, a, is a tag team effort, it seems like, between you and Jeff Shankle. Oh, yeah. Yes. So um, tell us, you know, Jeff is not in studio with us here today. No. And, and uh, I'm sure we're going to learn a little bit more about you along the way. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe share a little bit of, you know, did Jeff have any background in publications and, and oh, news? Oh, definitely. How did he, get He's been, he was a PR consultant for 28 years. Oh, wow. And he has been in news for 51 years. I mean, he used to work for City News. Oh, wow. He also okay. used to work for the Tribune. And he decided to go into business for himself as a PR consultant. And after that, after 2008 hit and all of his clients left him because of the money yes. dry, drying up, we decided to do this paper together. And the, the strange thing about it, it, we don't have any staff. It's just myself, Jeff, and we have a part-time graphic designer and a part-time web guy. And that's right. it. And, and what, what is your role in La Nueva Voz? My role is in marketing and operations. I'm the VP of it. And I am responsible for letting the community know who we are, what we do, and trying to sell ads to the community at a really low price. We have never raised our rates going on 14 years. Wow. And we don't have any intention of doing so. Well, that's wonderful because the price of eggs... I went up triple. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> gone up. Yes, uh, that's right. So, um, you know, again, you've been doing this for some years now. And out of all the years that you've been doing this, you and Jeff, uh, what is the, one of the greatest joys uh, that you've experienced from, from being a part of La Nueva Voz? 
Meeting really nice people, interesting people, uh, meeting celebrities, getting rewards that we never even expected. We have like what we call the Hall of Fame, where we've uh, uh, received probably 15 awards throughout our entire 14 years. I was a member of the year for the Pomona Chamber in 2019. And Jeff and I have received multiple awards from different organizations. And we are very proud of that. Wonderful. Now we're going to take a quick uh, station break. And when we come back, uh, I want you to tell us, share with us a little bit about the last award that you guys received just recently. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So we're going to take a quick little uh, station break and we'll get back to you in, uh, in just a moment. Hey, thanks again for tuning in to the Pomona Promise Network podcast. Today's sponsors include La Nueva Voz, Pomona's only community newspaper. If you'd like to learn more about Pomona and all the good things that are happening, pick up a copy today or visit them at lanuevavoz.net. Once again, lanuevavoz.net. Hey, welcome back to the Pomona Promise Network podcast, again, with your host, Andrew Quinones and guest Renee Barbie of La Nueva Voz. Renee, a little birdie told me that La Nueva Voz is going to be receiving an award this month. Is that true? Yes, it is. This Sunday, the 15th, the Martin Luther King Jr. Project is going to be giving us the, what is called the Zini Cummings Award. And we were honored to be recognized by Gail Claiborne, who nominated us for it. And she's been a longtime um, member of the uh, project. And uh, she was the uh, former president. She's now the vice president. And she will be presenting the award to us on Sunday night to both Jeff and I at Pil Pilgrim Congregational Church. Wonderful. And uh, so you guys must be very proud of that. Oh, definitely. It's a complete shock and surprise to us, but we are honored to receive it. That's great. So uh, what other organizations or have received awards like this in the past? Uh, we received an award uh, we, um, from, um, let's see, I, uh, the American Legion many, many years ago. There's a lot of awards that I, I can't recall, but um, we, I've been given certificates. Yes. We received an award from the uh, Tri-City Mental Health a few years ago before COVID. And we've got plaques and we've got certificates all over the place. Yes. Well, that certainly uh, is uh, to share with the community that you guys have done excellent work in the past decade. Yes. Yes. That's why right. we received the awards because of our awesome service to the community. Right. Now, when I'm uh, driving through Pomona, uh, whether I'm dropping off my child at the TLC, the Learning Center at the mm -hmm. Fairplex, or visiting a school, or even a business, uh, everywhere I go, I see the La Nueva Voz newspaper stack. Uh, we try to get the word out. Yes, yes, you do. So you guys have done a great job at, at, at placing them in all the strategic places because, you know, I, I really do enjoy, you know, picking up that newspaper and whether I'm having lunch somewhere mm -hmm. or, or just, you know, sitting having breakfast in the morning, you know, picking up the, the newspaper. Right. And uh, what, what strikes me most is that, uh, again, it's not negative news. It's, 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 no, it's, it's all positive. It is all positive, positive news it's, that just shares. Right. Uh, yeah. Just the great things that we're doing in Pomona, right? Exactly. All right. So now, uh, out of all the years you've been doing this, I, I know, I don't think you write the articles. Jeff does, yes? Or do you write he some He writes well? everything. Okay. I, I just uh, proof, uh, proofread everything and make sure that he doesn't make any mistakes because he ah, types really fast. Like a good woman or a good <laughs> wife, yes? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he, he, t yeah, I mean, he knows what he's doing. He puts uh, his whole heart and soul into the paper. Mm -hmm. He writes the articles and he knows what he's doing, and you won't find any any other paper that is is most uh, well written as ours is. Great. Now, out of all the years, what is uh, some an article that just stands out in your mind that that just made an impact on on you personally, or or perhaps a newspaper? Well, in two thousand twenty, we found out that the Sheraton Hotel was a housing. Um, it became a COVID hotel. Yes. And somebody anonymously sent me a package of information and 
I showed it to Jeff and I said, you know, this would be a really good story to let people know what's going on in the community. Mm -hmm. And at first he was hesitant, but he spent three weeks working on it, calling people, interviewing people over the phone and by email. And um, after three articles in January, February, March of 2020 or 2021, he got the whole thing shut down. Wow. Because of his story. Yes. I helped. I helped them, of course, but he, we, the community needed to know the truth of what was going on. Yes. It was from L.A. County. Mm-hmm. And they were doing underhanded stuff, trying to keep the people inside and not letting them go and, and like bribing them with different things mm-hmm. so they would stay. Interesting. And after, um, you know, three or four months, they found out about it. And uh, we, after we published the article in our paper... Once everybody got a hold of it, they went onto our website and they shared the link all over the place. Oh, wow. And our website got 4,000 plus hits that one month. And it was incredible. So not only are you guys writing a, a newspaper, I mean, an actual something you could put in your hand that's tangible. You guys are also uh, hosting a website with all the. Oh, yeah. Everything's on the well. website. Everything. All the way back to 2012. Oh, Wow. So uh, real quick, so to give the audience, what is the website address? It's www.lanuevavos.net. Okay, wonderful. And it looks like we're, uh, we're in time for another station break, so we will be back with you in just a moment. Thanks again for joining us here for our first podcast at the Pomona Promise Network. I'm your host, Andrew Quinones, and today's sponsor is the studio that we're hosting this podcast, which is Positive Pomona Productions, brought to you by the Southern California Service Corps here in downtown Pomona. If you'd like to learn more about the Southern California Service Corps, you can visit us at www.socalservicecorps.org. Once again, that's www.socalservicecorps.org. Okay, welcome back to the Pomona Promise Network broadcast. I'm here with uh, Lana Nueva Vos, and I am the host, Andrew Quinones. And uh, today we're interviewing Renee Barbie. So, Renee, uh, we've come to a little bit uh, to learn a little bit about La Nueva Vos mm-hmm. and the history, uh, some of your greatest accomplishments, and uh, stories that really made an impact within our community. Right. So, as as time unfolds, um, I'm kind of curious to know uh, w- what do you see the the future of La Nueva Vos. Uh, going and do you have some set of, uh, some sort of wish list uh, as the future unfolds? Well, as we continue on and uh, dealing with COVID, uh, we are doing our best to get the word out to the community about everything that's taking place. Uh, fundraisers are important to people, so we get the word out by pu- putting the information in our paper, and I post it on social media. And if people Call, contact me either by email, phone, or whichever way. I uh, Sometimes they contact me through the website. I will explain to them that if they don't have a graphic designer, our designer will design their ad at no additional cost. All they pay for is the cost of the ad. They're able to see it before it goes to print, and they're able to um, approve it. And then the most p- important part is if they only publish one ad. It's not really going to serve them much of use because once you place one ad and that's it, people forget about you. Most of our clients stay in as a regular basis. And that is important because people in the community might not see one issue and they'll see the other and they they will patronize the uh, businesses in Pomona. And that's important because Pomona needs to know that we're here for them and through our paper, we're trying to get the word out about supporting your local businesses. Great. That's what it's all about. Yes, it is. And I think you guys are great support to our local businesses. Um, so, Renee, uh, as 
what what are what is something right right now that you guys are working on? What what type of stories are you working on for 2023? What's the future ahead? Well, uh, right now, um, there's something regarding Cal Poly that I cannot say at this time because it's it's it hasn't been written and hasn't been published, so it's not uh, you know out in the public yet. But it's is regarding something that happened at Cal Poly, and um, th- people send us uh, stories and articles and. A lot of stuff from last month, last year, last last month in December that wasn't able to get into our paper will be in our January 26th issue. It's, we always publish on the fourth Thursday of the month. The fourth Thursday of the month. Okay, yes. you guys heard out there. The fourth Thursday of the month. You can find that on Web of Us at a number of different sites. And I'm sure, Renee, pop off a few different sites in Pomona where, where people can find that newspaper. Well, the Pomona um, Post Office, uh, you can find them at the City Hall, the Pomona uh, Public Library, um, surrounding businesses uh, in downtown Pomona, downtown Pomona so- Owners Association, DPOA. Um, they're, they're everywhere throughout Pomona. There's, we we uh, distribute to numerous businesses in Pomona and surrounding cities like Laverne, Claremont, Montclair, all those places. And uh, if... if People, people actually come into cities and find our paper and they'll take it back to their city and share it with their people. Yes, yes. And I got to tell you, you know, being in, in 2023 now, it um, all across the country, now I'm guessing maybe the world, uh, newspapers, f- newsprint is disappearing everywhere. That's very true. And, and so to be able to have something, again, something tangible that, that people could get their hands on and read. Uh, and, 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 but also have the option for the website as well. Right. Um, I, I just, again, I am, I'm really, I guess, grateful, uh, that something like this still exists. And, and I, I have to think that, you know, how do we get young people, uh, to, to engage and, in, and, in, and, in, in getting that, that tangible newspaper in their hand and, and reading it, you know, and learning yeah. more about their community. Exactly. That's, that's our, our focus to get the, the word out to the young people in Pomona, like t- uh, high school students. And I have had interns and it didn't quite work out for most of them. And um, I had a, a young man contact me from a Pomona college. He was doing um, a story. His, uh, he wanted to write a, he needed to write a paper on a newspaper so he contacted me and Jeff and I met him and we went over all the details of our paper and he's getting ready to publish it in, in the, his school uh, new, newsletter. Oh, wow. What an inspiration. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Okay. So Renee, uh, is there any final thoughts or comments that you like the city of Pomona and, and all its residents to, uh, to know? Absolutely. My role in the paper is, is multiple. I, I serve on many committees and boards. I'm here to help. My, my major role is, you know, vice president of marketing and operations. Uh, Jeff um, is the publisher. There's only the two of us. We, we work um, from like 8 a.m. until 6, 7, 8 o'clock p.m. And you can always reach me either by phone, text, or email. My email is Barbie the number seven, at gmail.com. My cell phone number is 909-762-1446. And once again, our website address is www.lanuevabos.net. And and, thank you so much for that, Renee. And uh, the community out there, you might even get a chance one day to see uh, Mr. Jeff Schenkel live in action. He's a musician, and, and he was even able to uh, to help us at the Kindness Carnival this Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Live. So we have a talented couple here in the city of Pomona. And I, again, I, I'm so grateful uh, for you being our guest today. And I wish you the best of luck for 2023, Renee. And uh, I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Andy. Appreciate right. you. Okay, guys. So, uh, again, thanks for tuning in to the Pomona Promise Network broadcast. Uh, we're going to be here twice a month uh, interviewing people throughout our community. And we hope that you tune in. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to hear more. Peace.